Hello everyone. So this is the week 10 uh, tech news. And yes, I have some uh, interesting news. And uh, by the way, this uh, week I will just have one uh, part. I won't have uh, part 1 and part 2 uh, like um, uh, last week. I will only have uh, this part because there isn't too much news, you know. And uh, we have uh, one of, what well, I mean, the first news we have here is uh, one of the last things that happened on um, the Mobile World Congress. And that is that HTC One X and S was uh, kind of like launched with um, this HTC Sense 3. I mean HTC Sense 4.0. Uh, some other sensation phones will get uh, 3.6 and will be able to be upgraded to 4.0. Which is pretty nice if you want to buy a sensation phone or a 1X or a 1S uh, because uh, you know the HTC Sense uh, versions is something that is pretty important uh, because you want to have your phone to look good I mean the UI and uh, um, the HTC Sense 4.0 is pretty nice looking, you know, uh, it's like, um, yeah, it's almost like stock ice cream sandwich because um, HTC have made it look like, you know, Galaxy Nexus, a little bit like that, but they still have the old um, HTC Sense look, you, you know, with the widgets and uh, the home screen orientations and uh, yeah some stuff like that but they have uh, like the same icons and stuff you know some stuff like that when, like the Galaxy Nexus and uh, you know that that's something I like because um, I, I mean I do like the stock ice cream sandwich and the look of it, um, the way you multitask and you choose between programs you are ha running and uh, uh, yeah, you know, stuff like that. And um, yes, if you buy a 1X or a 1S, you will have HTC Sense 4.0 and Ice Cream Sandwich integrated. And if you buy a sensation, you will soon get ice cream sandwich out of the box. And I'm guessing you will get HTC Sense 3.6 out of the box. Which you will be able to upgrade to 4.0 if you would like. So yeah. And we also heard that Samsung, you know, had this little secret that there was something nice happening for a Samsung Galaxy Note. I'm not sure if it's going to happen for other Android devices. Would kind of feel weird that if it would only happen for the Note. Because Angry Birds is now going to have this expansion called Space. Uh, it's going to be launched for the Galaxy Note at least. For, um, in a few weeks, like two weeks from now, and um, yeah, it's going to be this 22nd of March, of March, and uh, yeah, this uh, is a expansion that I haven't looked at because there isn't any, you know, hands-on and new stuff like that because it's not kind of launched yet, but. Uh, Maybe we'll see a leak a few days before it's launch. I don't know. But anyway, so this is, you know, great news uh, for you guys that love Angry Birds uh, or just Rovio in that matter. And uh, Rovio is the company that created Angry Birds, if you didn't know that. And, uh, you know, 
I'm hoping that uh, all Android devices will get this expansion because there are a lot of people loving Angry Birds that doesn't have a Samsung Galaxy Note but yeah it would be kinda weird if it, they wouldn't you know launch it for Android all Android devices and I have no idea but there might be like I mean there should be a space version for iOS too if it will be, if it will be released after the 22nd of March I don't know but it should be launched for iOS for you guys that have a iPhone or a iPod or a iPad so yeah and we also saw like two days ago that uh, Apple have now launched the new iPad as it's called uh, I would probably just call it the iPad 3 because it is the third iPad <laughs> I mean in my nature it is uh, logic to just call it the 3 because they had the iPad, the iPad 2 it would just be weird to call this one the iPad, the new iPad, iPad. Why not just call it iPad 3 so everyone knows for what we are talking about so we don't mix it up with the iPad 1 and <laughs> that, that would be pretty weird and uh, uh, yeah you know it's you know launched with uh, this uh, quad core a5 sec a5x uh, processor and it's also quad core graphics gpu uh, which is awesome and apple tells us that uh, this uh, ipad 3 will um, uh, act uh, four times better than the tegra 3 uh, devices i find that pretty hard to believe when we are talking about Apple because you know we don't always get uh, price worthy things from Apple maybe they just changed after Steve Jobs I don't know but um, the design is pretty much the same as the iPad 2 not too much difference uh, yeah almost 10 millimeters thick and it will be launched in white and black versions all from the beginning and it's all already available for pre-orders uh, in um, America, Great Britain, Australia and some other countries here in Europe and it's not available in Sweden yet it will be uh, in, a f in like a week I think but uh, yeah you know this is some nice stuff and they also launched it with a retina display which is awesome because uh, the iPad 2 had a like 720p display which wasn't too awesome because there was like smartphones coming out with 720p display like my Galaxy Note it's actually 800p but uh, 720p is um, you know in a few uh, smartphones like 4.3 inch smartphones and let's say us let, let's just say that a 10 inch tablet with 720 display the PPI ain't that good uh, and uh, that is actually pretty surprising when we are talking about uh, Apple because they like their PPIs uh, they like it to be high and um, now with the iPad 3 they have it 9.7 in 9.7 inch display with 20 36 times 5 no 2048 times 1536 in resolution which is a lot higher than a 2 1080p display which is you know the basic um, resolution in uh, uh, the computer screens now no these, these days 
when you buy a computer screen it's probably going to be 1080p and uh, TVs also is like 1080p so let's just say that this iPad will have a PPI that is a lot higher than the eye can see so you won't be able to complain about that so yeah that's nice and we also saw that uh, Engadget had this uh, iPad 3 hands-on uh, I'm not sure, I, I didn't watch that video but uh, if you have you might have th thought that this iPad is pretty nice uh, I, I have just heard rumors that uh, uh, it's going to be a lot better for uh, uh, movie watching and uh, uh, you know zooming in pictures not that that is too uh, important unless you are a me media freak that uh, loves to zoom in on pictures and use Adobe Pho Photoshop in your tablet a lot uh, but yeah and we also heard today well I heard today that uh, the Samsung Galaxy S2 is now going to be you know able to be updated with the latest ice cream sandwich uh, Android stock ROM or you know ROM and it's going to be integrated with the TouchWiz and yeah you know the TouchWiz ain't that good but it's not that bad too but I would prefer the stock uh, ICS ROM but it's probably going to be launched pretty soon anyway but you will probably have to, you know, flash it with uh, something else than Kies, probably Odin. And um, yeah, that is some really nice news. I'm almost regretting that I sold my Samsung Galaxy S2 and bought my Note. But uh, of course, I made a profit on that deal, so why not? But still. And I'm guessing that the Galaxy Note will have the ice cream sandwich, um, you know, like official uh, pretty soon, maybe in uh, a few weeks, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'm waiting patiently right here on this spot. I want my ice cream sandwich now. And uh, yeah, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this week, but of course it's Friday today, so as always, we have to enjoy the weekend, and my way to enjoy the weekend this weekend is Pepsi, yeah, ice cold Pepsi, I haven't tried Pepsi for like at least a half year almost forgot the taste doesn't really have the same taste as coca-cola I remember thinking that Pepsi was almost better than coca-cola let's try it out Freaking ice cold and nice taste. It would be great to have a Coca Cola now to compare to, but I think that this Pepsi here, right here, is really nice taste. And uh, yeah, it's definitely the top three. Um, best soda in the world according to me of course and yeah this weekend I am probably going to make a review about my friend's game it's called Ice Cubes uh, he made it by himself in Flash I'm pretty impressed actually I mean he's 18 like me and uh, uh, he's soon 19 of course, but uh, I mean he made a game that uh, is 
you know, one of the best games I've tried in Flash, actually. Um, I like the, re you know, the idea and uh, the way you play this game. Of course, the graphics ain't uh, like the best yet, but um, yeah, I like the idea and the build up of the game. I'm actually playing it sometimes. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I will make a review probably tomorrow, Saturday. And uh, yeah, I'm also making some projects on my website. I actually um, added a website to my portfolio on my website. You can check it out in the description. And I'm also uh, going to try to make a t-shirt design probably pretty soon because I want to sell t-shirts uh, before the summer maybe and of course we will have to see about that but uh, if you guys would have a t-shirt design just let me know and uh, yeah that's pretty much all for this weekend enjoy the weekend see ya